Let me, uh, hold on. Let me off of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Let me get straighter so it'll come out more. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Ooh, a little room. Yeah, there's a couple crossbows. What? Air conditioner? Yeah. I think I left my phone hammer in there when I come back. 
down. No, I don't see it laying on the air conditioner. Just flying a giant box kite. I'm always out of string there, so it's up there, ways. Nice weather for it. As long as it doesn't rain, but it's looked like it's gonna rain all day today, and we've been doing great. Up, oh, it's coming down. Hi, birdie. Hi, bird. Man, that was an ordeal getting that 750 single overhead cam Honda into the back of that pickup truck. I mean, the rear wheel was locked up, the front wheel was locked up. I had to use my postal Jeep to pull it out because there was no other vehicle that would fit in the back of that house to get to it around those uh, boxes that's being used as uh, garages, I guess. I ended up... Uh, not acquiring that bike myself as if you can't see behind me there's a stack of bikes there i'm sitting on a bike but this one doesn't need any work this is my newest bike you'll see that later very proud of this one i've got other bikes in my other outbuildings i mean i'm stacked with bikes and you gotta reach a certain time when you know hey it's time to not keep collecting bikes because you're not getting stuff done but I just wanted to come and talk to you about a little bit of the updates of what's going on. I am going to be probably doing the majority of the work on that 750 single overhead cam Honda. Not in the near future, probably winter maybe. A buddy of mine, I brokered the sale of that bike. He bought it very cheap and uh, it was off of a good friend of mine. It was uh, actually one of my best friends. He uh, passed away, and it was part of his estate, and I actually acquired some of his bikes. I'll give you a little bit. If you can see right there, there's one of them. If you know what that is, good for you. If you don't know what it is, you'll figure it out later. But I just wanted to kind of give you an update. Sorry the uh, shaky camera angles. I'm filming this from my phone, and I'm doing my best, but I don't have my tripod here, and this is probably the... Uh, third time I've tried to shoot this and I just ain't getting it right because I'm out of my element because I haven't been making videos but at this point in time my um, circumstances are right that I think I'm going to uh, start producing uh, more videos as time goes I'm gonna delve more into the restoration of the Norton which is right back that way Right there, it's the red thing, right there. Uh, that's probably what we're going to go on first, and then we're gonna go on the bike there. That is gonna be a kind of a tribute to uh, my buddy that passed away. It was his bike, and it was his pride and joy, and it's in a million pieces, and I'm gonna put it back together. But I think we'll get it onto the Norton first, and uh, we'll go from there, but I, going to try to upload at this point at least uh, two videos per week. I'm going to try to do some in-depth videos. I want to really show you all the steps of what's going on, kind of like how I used to do on my videos. But as I said, I, I slacked up. It just the circumstances weren't necessary or I just didn't have the drive to do YouTube and I kind of do now. And anyways, I was just putting this at the end of this video of rescuing this uh, 750 Honda and uh, if you aren't already please subscribe to me I'm trying to break the uh, thousand subscriber barrier and uh, thanks a lot and uh, you can guarantee the quality is going to be better than me shaking this camera right now later guys thank you to all the subscribers that are still there even though I haven't posted in a long time